What's up everybody, Nick Slizzler here, and today I am going to be doing a story time with Slizzler. But first off, I had a little bit of an announcement for my channel. Uh, I wanted to go ahead and let you guys know that as of right now, for an undetermined amount of time at this point, I will not be live streaming anymore. Um, part of the reason is my crappy internet, and the other part of the reason is that... I just want to take a break from them and go to doing pre-recorded videos for a little while because uh, I've been doing a lot of live streams and a lot of them have been failing, uh, mostly in terms of just internet crashes and whatnot, and it's starting to frustrate me to the point where I really just kind of lost the lust to do them. Um, if you guys want to talk about it, you guys can comment in the section below and we will talk um, about how you guys feel about me temporarily quitting live streaming and going straight to pre-recorded videos only and I do know that it is going to be a massive subscriber drop um, in terms of gaining subscribers but guys I just don't have the internet right now and and they just it, it gets frustrating um, now to the story time this story came from a while back when I was still a very bad kid. Um, big surprise here. Uh, me and my friend were hanging out in his upstairs bedroom, and uh, we had just gotten home not too long ago, and we had gotten some... When, he w when his parents were in Wheatland, uh, the Wheatland Festival, I think it's called. I don't know. I can't remember. It's been so long. It's that big festival that happens every year. Anyway, uh... <laughs> As I was saying, um, so why he was there with them, they grabbed him, or he grabbed, I, I don't think they even knew he had it, honestly, but even if they did, uh, his parents, I hate to say it, were kind of pushovers and just let him do whatever he wanted, uh, and he had this little bag of tobacco that he had gotten from an Indian, uh, or a Native American, not really an Indian, um, and he was like, hey man, you want to smoke this with me? We don't have any cigarettes, so this is going to have to be the best we can do. I was like, heck yeah, man. So we rolled it up into a little joint, and we started smoking it, and it just, uh, the second, uh, Kyle just joined in, the NAT type isn't working. Uh, like, just a few seconds after we smoked it, we started feeling funny. And I was like, are you feel that? He's like, yeah, yeah, I do. This is so weird. And, like, the longer we sat there, the worse it got. Like, and eventually it got to the point where I actually started seeing the walls melt and shit. And, like, we were smoking it, and we kept smoking it afterwards. And once we finished, like, we, <coughs> we were both tripping so bad it was ridiculous. Um... Uh, so it was it was a heck of an experience. Uh, I obviously we ended up both okay. Uh, we both stayed in his room, so it's not like we went anywhere and got into any trouble. Uh, it was just it was crazy. Like we still to this day don't know what it was laced with, but it was laced with something insane. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Kyle joined the party. Uh, he is still in here. He's just he's he's letting me have my little story moment. Uh, <laughs> so anyway. Like I said, we we ended up okay from smoking whatever it was that we had just smoked. And it, we were also with another kid, and uh, what kind of freaks me out a little bit about this is that this kid that was with us, um, he kind of never turned his life around. I mean, he's still really a really bad druggie, and he still, you know, he still hasn't finished high school or anything. And uh, it just, like... I actually, you know what, I think he's actually in a foster care home, or not foster care, more like um, adult care home now, because he is so fucked up from, like, from all of his, like, all the shit that he's done, that he literally can't even take care of himself anymore. So, that oh. could have happened to me if I had kept hanging out with this kid, and I'm really glad I didn't, uh, because that means that I'm here today because there's no guarantee that I would have not OD'd at, had I gone down the path that I was already working on. Uh, so, yeah, I guess the story is kind of, it's kind of a little funny. I mean, haha, he smoked something and he didn't know what it was and it fucked him up really bad. But also, it, it contains a story, you guys. And, um, like, the moral to the story is don't do drugs and don't accept random tobacco from Indians because it'll end badly. 
All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and, I will, and stay tuned for more awesome gaming content coming from both me and Kyle in the future. As always, this is Nick Slizzler, and I'm signing out. Peace.